Dia depend on standard eh apa uh, method kan tak oh. tak depend on method lah. So I tu uh, a temperature yang set for inlet detector outlet akan saya 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 kira tu mesti 350 40 kan depending on the method and also definitely on the column sample, ah, sample. And, and column itself. Hmm. Sample. Kalau kita nak gas sample terus dalam dalam bentuk gas kan. So of course the temperature is not so high. Hmm. It's so high. Kalau saya run uh, minyak kelapa sawit okay? Masa kutang macam tu Suhu dia sangat tinggi Sampai about 390 down Almost maximum Maximum of GC So GC yang masa kutang tu Dia selalu lebih senang Kalau sak Kalau sak Sebab so, ini yang maximum yeah. Kolom dia kena, kena beli kolom yang tahan sampai uh, Maximum temperature Kolom pun after about 6 months kena tukar okay? Oven swap tadi tu Every 6 months putus Hmm. Kalau tidak pun setahun sekali dia putus Dan tu putus ni Sebab dia orang punya apa tu, minyak dia tough lah kan apa nah, tu? Minyak dah sabit sampai, hmm. sampai C18 hmm. Carbon number okay. Kalau we take C1 je hmm. okay. uh, We take C2 je Sampai uh, C18 Boleh point dia mungkin sampai 4500 ke Boleh point dia hmm. Untuk minyak dah sabit Sampai C20, 22 Maksudnya hmm. Jadi, kalau C22, C23 tu boiling point dia 4500 pakai mana? GC boleh boleh separate GC macam 450 ni hmm. Boleh Asal dia panas Dia ke Dia pun dari partial gas lah Partial gas eh. Tapi dia kalau sangat lewat Belakang hmm. Berapa jam macam tu? Ha, sejam Oh, oh sejam okey lah Sejam lah, last sekali hmm. Kalau tak, tak cantik Dia dia Lepas uh. Lepas Hmm. Uh, depan tu C4, C5 tu Sharp hmm. Sharp uh, Sharp 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 So Memang inlet Detector oven All maximum is 450 okay. Some GC sampai 400 uh, So GC yang baru mungkin sampai 450 hmm. uh, That's good enough for most of the organic uh, Kalau terlalu high temperature Lepas separate tak guna GC lagi Guna apa? HPLC boleh juga ada protein Protein tu kan, tak guna GC langsung Kena guna HPLC Protein analysis So GC is quite simple, gas from a drug Pemisahan Gunakan uh, Gunakan cara gas Bukan run sample gas saja Sebab Kenapa gas? Nah, next question is Kalau sample saya masuk dalam inlet Kata liquid lah Liquid, hypernol Masuk dalam inlet Pakai mana dia boleh travel through column Okay, detector untuk detector Kalau saya tak lukit Kalau inlet dia tak, tak jalan Tak ada kaki Tak ada kaki nah. Walaupun panaskan dia ah Panaskan dia, dia mungkin Dia tak ada tenaga okay, dia, dia move a bit Tapi kenapa dia tak move Tak move backward Tak keluar ke atas Kenapa dia, dia melalui kolom kalau case ni kan dia macam particle tu kan memang tahu kan dia Ah dia gerak kan Gerak Macam kinetik kan Memang Kan PM 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 Mungkin dia kena keluar sini, kenapa dia masuk ke kolom Okay, you you mention one word talk Carrier Gas, kalau masa kami belajar kan, kami kata Gas from bawah Siapa? So, kenapa ada Tong-tong gas ada kena So, this you have cylinders ada kena You mention carrier gas Carrier gas, the function is to carry the sample masuk ke dalam kolom tolak dia sampai ke bawah detector we call carrier gas yeah. some call pushing gas in fact, uh, but normally uh, right term is called carrier gas gas of power so you can see uh, so many cylinders outside why so many cylinders? 
Red Cat which one to lose? The Red Cat, this is another, normally uh, our training we have quiz, pre-quiz and post-quiz for, for students. This one we don't do because it's all for <laughs> students. Right? But I, I also share with you the, the questions for that. The first question of GC, second question, uh, second question about component in, G, in GC, third question, name some of the career tests from GC. Is that good? Yeah. William, very good. Yeah. Huh? Hydrogen. Hydrogen, very good. Nitrogen. Huh? Nitrogen. Nitrogen, very good. Compressed air. Compressed air, But good gas, no, no harm. Okay. Why it doesn't do that? So, what? Compressed gas are the oxygen. Okay. Are the oxygen, CO2, CO2. So, the muscle, the column, the oxidized, the sub column. Okay. The column. Good, good, good gas. So, it's like hard to guess. That's the top popular. Tapi biasa UTM guna. UTM guna. Ah, agen. Agen, agen. Ah, industri tak ramai guna. Tapi mahal ni, organ mahal ni. Quite, quite expensive. Uh. Tapi paling mahal helium, helium. Helium. Kita pun guna agen di di UTM saya pun tak tak paham. Oh. Kita senang tapat ke, senang tak paham. Biasa industri tak selalu guna. Ah. Tapi kalau tak ada apa-apa purpose, pakai nitrogen pun sudah okey. Yes, okay. Yeah. Ah, nitrogen lah, saya lebih murah lagi. Yeah. Okay. Which one paling murah? Nah, ini. Nitrogen atau H2? Nitrogen, saya lupa mana lebih murah. I think nitrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen, I think, okay. Tapi H2, good thing. Uh, helium ni sebagai mahal, uh, dia mahal sebab dia, dia susah dapat. Nombor South America yang yang, yang dapat korek, okay, untuk uh, produce ni. Nitrogen boleh guna air. For hydrolysis, for charge at H2O, for O, dapat hydrogen. Yeah, yang tu boleh guna generator, hmm. so tak mahal. N2 lagi senang. For oksigen, lain-lain dalam dalam dar- dar- udara, okay. N2. Yeah, so that's why they're cheaper. Argon, I mean not expensive, not 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 cheap though. Okay. So popular, yes sir. Ini banyak sikit, dapat H2, tapi mahal kan? Tapi what the best can I guess is Hydrogen. Second is helium. N two not so good sebagai kerja gas, tapi dia common, dia murah. For some not not so critical separation molecule net, molecule net. So molecule molecule net lebih besar. The reason why hydrogen is the best and followed by helium. Ah, uh, is molecule. The, the the molecule is small. Smaller. Okay, smaller. Okay. And also better resolution lebih sangat. Uh, better sensitivity for some detector. But if we want to detect hydrogen, that is not advisable. Ah, okay. If your sample are the hydrogen, right, the hydrogen, then you cannot use hydrogen to make the gas. So make the gas and sample same. Not a big, not a big. But the hydrogen is not enough. So here, in in uh, her context, it's better to use helium lah. The best lah. Eh. That's why you don't see it. Eh, look at helium and hydrogen. Helium, yeah, helium right? You use helium right? Kalau tak silap. Helium ada. Oh, yang tu push, ah, tapi yang push sample kat sini ada nitrogen. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, okay, okay, okay. Tapi helium for GC, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, nitrogen tak boleh. Nitrogen. nitrogen is used for the experiment. Tidak, tidak. 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 Tidak, so for carrier gas here using helium. So that's a helium cylinder. So okay, carrier gas. Carry your sample from inlet to to column, then push to detector. Detector for tension. Hmm. Uh, Take carrier gas. Then I'm going to take. Take again. Take again. Take again. Take again. Uh, hydrogen. Hydrogen. Tan. N two dah lepas. N two lagi satu saya punya. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so kalau pak ada hydrogen tank lagi, since kami tak guna hydrogen sebagai carrier gas, why there are hydrogen and A? Dia selit dari sini. Uh, sini. Anjir lah. Saya saya tahu. <laughs> ah, dia tahu. Okay. Ah, dapat tu. Yes, I. Right? That's a check. 
Right, this one is uh, because of the operation. Saya saya mau try jawab boleh? Boleh, of course. Okay. Compress A untuk valve switching. Mm -hmm. Oh. What are the functions for that? Right. The hydrogen. The hydrogen untuk FID. Ah, untuk FID. Betul, betul, betul. betul. Right. So, dua gas ini ada dua ada dua function. Uh, for detector, for detector dulu, detector ada dua tiga jenis. Sini kebetulan and very lucky, sini ada dua jenis detector. Detector ada nama dia, bukan detector dia. Detector is general general term. Okay. Uh, the name of detector ada FID, ada DCT, dua jenis T. T itu detector. Cuba tengok apa itu FID. FID. Ionization. Ionization detector. FID itu. Normally we study di I don't think it's school at the university. You see, FID. Lecture don't even mention about FID. I still ingat. I must ingat. I must lecture. But I must start. But I forgot. Sure, sure. Can't ingat langsung. Must do. Can't tahu langsung. Another one is called TCD. Yeah, it's just a skin attack. You wanna try? TCD. Thermal temperature. Thermal. 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 Because I'm doing in my in my side. Oh, thermal. Very very fast. Thermal conductivity detector, dua jenis detector. Yang paling common memang FID. Most of the TCD guna FID sebab organic sample guna FID dia lebih sensitif. TCD boleh guna tapi dia tak sangat sensitif. Sangat sensitif. Thermal conductivity detector. Untuk FID, apa dia function? Dia flame di dalam ada flame. Ada flame kecil. Api kecil. Mana tapat api ni? Mana tapat api ni? Tadi mana? Yes, betul. Kena supply hydrogen. Kena ada hydrogen. Kena ada apa? A. Kena A. Ha. Ada tak? Let's go. Ada je, okay. So A dan hydrogen supply. Tadi mana? Oh, FID kena ada hydrogen dan compress air. Compress air sekali. Ada. Compress air tu dia guna bahagian Oksigen dia, hanya dalam oksigen dia akan kuat. Macam apa? Dia nak buat hydrogen tu macam fuel lah. Oksigen kena supply baru baru. Ah, fuel lah, fuel. Okay. Macam dalam kereta kita lah, eh. Engine, engine. Yang tiga segi tu lah, kena ada fuel, oksigen, ada baru baru baru. Oh, okay. So, masih ingat? Kena fizik sih. Kena fizik. Fuel, hydrogen, all that. So, correct. Hydrogen tak eh kena perlu. Kalau kan untuk kuat satu flame yang kecil, tak kecil. Kalau emo ni, kalau di sini, tak besar, tak besar tu. Api satu tu lah. Tapi kita tak nampak kan? Tak nampak, tak nampak. Tapi kita, we we can know from the 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 display indicator. The display, dia kata on atau tak on, dia ada signal background juga. So dia nak air hydrogen to to form a flame. Apa tu jangan flame ni? Katakan organic sample, metanol, metanol masuk dalam powder, dia keluar ke detector. Anything coming out from column to detector kan, to a flame, dia kan burn, yang burn 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 away. Yang sama dengan yang apa, yang kalau nampak shell petronas kan, dia chimney dia tinggi tinggi atau api itu, ah, dia burn away all the waste. Just flaring. Ah, flare kan, ah, okay, burn away semua yang waste of ah, organic sample, sample dia, dia burn away. So bila dia ah, sampai dipakar, so it has a lot of free electron. Ini organic sample burn a lot of electron, yeah, electron yang bebas. So all this will be captured by the GC. Number of kalau banyak sample masuk, lebih banyak free electron. So peak dia apa? Tinggi. Kalau sample ni skip ya, PP tiga, PP low PPM, peak very small. Sebab tak cukup, sebab tak cukup, tak cukup. Kurang, kurang free electron. Small peak. Kalau banyak Elektron, tiga lebih tinggi. So keamatan ada kejadian kick, yeah, represent how much sample you get, the concentration of the sample. Can you share one maybe equation reaction that macam metanol, lalu dia go through FID, lepas tu dia jadi dia punya ion. For example, itulah example macam mana dia boleh pecah. How how the the peak can originate from the ion. Oh, okay, okay. For 
for example, like uh, Metanol, like uh, Metanol, uh, and you H, you get a lot of <coughs> when it's burn, right? Okay, mm. it can burn. Mm. When it burn, it have a lot of free electron. It mm. forms a lot of free electron. Mm. Target CD. Target CD. At the FID, uh, jet here. This is called FID jet. This is a part, which I have a flame. Oh, this is the FID jet. This is FID jet. Okay. So small thing, it's like a chimney. A small chimney that can fill up. Right? Like a lalu fill up electron as exon, yeah. A part chimney thing, 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 thing. Ah. So the tiki de flame to keluar de de ujung le. Ah, black. Then to the ujung to kecil, kecil. Panggil kecil. Yeah lah, kecil ya. Kecil. Kalau nampak dia lubang dia. Tidak. 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 Um, okay, my question just now, macam metanol, dia hmm. jadi ion, tapi ion apa? Ion yang akan keluar mungkin uh, hydroxyl ion, OH, ah. tolak. Hmm. Lepas tu lagi satu, uh, mungkin C. Hmm. C, C tak ada C ion. C is, is burn out. Okay, it's burn ah, C tak ada ion. Ah, so, like, yes, uh, OH or, or free electron. Ah. Free electron will be captured. Oh, ah. free electron, mostly free electron. Free electron, okay. Not like, uh, wait. But how to know whether that free electron is designated to the methanol? Ah, and, and it, most of the organic, okay, once it burn, it form free electron. Most organic. So, here it burn a lot of free electron around here. Uh-huh. GC has a, a collector, electron collector. Okay. And this is positive. It, it will take the, the electron over here. So, if more free electron, like for example, you have injected like 2% of methanol, it has a lot of free electron. So, the thing is higher. Although you injected only 1 to 3 L of methanol, so, a little bit of free electron and this collect accordingly. Tapi kalau a mixture of gases, let's say ada methanol, ada uh, ethylene, ah. propane, propylene. So, nanti kan dia masuk, nanti semua pun jadi elektron. Yes, okay. So, that's why uh, column here, the two gas here, function column, what perpisahan. So, like you have a uh, uh, gas, like, you have uh, methane, ethane, propane, and the positive color is coming out together, open together. Then they all want to keep very, very big, all together. But after separation by color, then we can see one color to look, CH4, see you, we take color to look, and burn, then they collect electron, one thing. And C2, the part of the color, C2 slowly, the color, and okay. C2, and C3. So anything the color, burn, burn away by the flame. They can find free electron in the sini, they can collect. Yeah, but, but still, I, I'm i not clear on uh, the mixture of uh, samples, mm-hmm. and then it will be burned. So, does it mean that the ele- uh, the, the electron mm-hmm. uh, is designated to, macam kalau uh, electron untuk methane, uh, untuk methane, satu group. Uh, electron untuk... Uh, propane satu group untuk uh. butin satu group tapi mula-mula dia mix ke tapi it will be separate separated inside the column oh but in the column the time there's no free electron yet katakan column ni kan uh. this column okay. mula-mula kami masukkan mixture tiga mixture je lah katakan okay. ada C1 C2 C3 okay tapi uh. yang masuk dalam tu cuma dia punya elektron kan apa masuk dalam GC dia masih dalam katakan uh, dalam bentuk gas Okay, ah, ha, ha, okay. What's the molecule? Okay. CH4 molecule. Uh. So this is CH4 molecule. Okay. And then C2 molecule, C3 molecule. Okay. Okay. Then molecule, C, 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 and then hydro. Hydrogen again. Mm-hmm. Hydrogen again. So this one, katakan CH4. Maksudnya masuk dalam GC, bentuk ini. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kalau uh, ethane, bentuk ini. Mm-hmm. Dia masuk dalam liquid. So, sebab punya suhu, kan, normally C1 akan keluar dulu, C2 keluar kemudian, C3 normally higher boiling point, dia keluar lewat sikit. So, one by one dia keluar. Direction is where? Ha? The direction? Dia sini. Okay. Dia letak sini, masuk kolam, dia jalan ke selektor, bukan jalan. Okay, slow, guess, slow. Ha, dia push, dia guess, push, push it ke uh, selektor. Also, based on uh, suhu, sebab awal dia panas. Each one has different boiling point. Yang C1 boiling point lebih rendah. C2 tinggi sikit. C3 higher boiling point. And C1 is the first one. Keluar. Dari kolam pergi ke detector. C1. So C1 keluar. Terus ni. Dan lapi. Burn. 
for example, lock feet and cut around here. So your your seat, oh, your seat one is burned away. So the separation is done first in the column, then mm. only uh, you will be burned at the F FID. Yes. Uh. Okay, that's why. Tapi kenap macam how how the column can separate. Oh, ah, ah column separation based on normally based on two types of factor. First, guna based on boiling point, boiling point, yeah, boiling point. Okay. Katakan se separate acetone dan methanol, boiling point tak sama. So acetone dan methanol dia akan get separated based on boiling point. Another one katakan boiling point sama, but ada komponen yang sama sama. Acetone dan methanol very close. So next one, uh, gunakan column yang ada polarity. So the second column ada benda tengah polar column atau non polar column non polar column. Okay. Kalau suhu sedang komponen agak jauh agak jauh, so you can use non polar column based on boiling boiling point of the of the sample. Katakan dekat sangat, bos ada dekat sangat. Okay. Isteri guna temperature, kita guna column yang lebih polar polarity. It means that sample ni akan stay dalam column lebih Lama, lebih polar. Kalau sample yang belakang tu lebih polar, yeah. Kita nak like uh, kapasiti si C O O H tu lebih polar. Kalau katakan uh, alcohol, alcohol also agak agak polar. So, yang ini uh, hydrocarbon yang tidak polar sangat. Seperti C H four, tengok, dia tak polar. Okay. Yang polar biasa yang ada kapasiti C O O H macam ni, yang ni polar, lebih polar. Yang polar sample, they stay longer inside the polar column. They suka polarity dia. Sebab uh, mungkin dia lebih, lebih polar, dia they stay longer. Yang tak polar, dia akan keluar tu. Keluar tu. So separation uh, by, by GC based on two, two factors. Boiling point of the, of the substance dan juga polarity. polarity. So meaning the lesser boiling point will go out first. Faster. But how? Faster. Ah, uh, Faster. Uh. But how? How, okay. how, how, how to explain that? Oh, oh, why, why is faster? Because at certain suhu, okay, it gets more uh, what, energy, kinetic energy. So it moves faster. Uh... Some of it, it, it push. And some of, say, bukan, no have to grab it. Some of them, yang katakan uh, minyak kelapa sawit. Of C, katakan C4, mm -hmm. C32. Yang C4, the two low, lower boiling point. They get it gets very cepat. Then, it's about faster. And C22, lah, on part, okay. Quality will result. Will result. Flat again. So this on on this. So you can separate. Tapi kira kan dia based on temperature di kolom tu ke ataupun di kat dia tu? Ah, very good question. Both, both. Tapi separation normally mainly is column. Ah, in the oven. In the oven. In the oven. Column in the column. Column is in the oven. In the oven. Ah. So the oven temperature itu sangat penting. So we normally Apa temperature dia ada oven temperature for framing for framing means oven tu boleh start dari kat kat sixty degree Celsius sampai three hundred ada ada kadar ni rate dia sampai five degree Celsius per minit dia naik so the initial temperature dalam oven sixty ah uh, okay, okay. slowly sampai three hundred why kenapa guna cara ini Jadi nanti bila naik sikit, jadi macam methane Dia punya boiling point dapat dulu, lepas dia jalan dulu lah Exactly, ah. exactly. exactly. Kenapa saya baru faham sekarang? Tak faham, saya tak tahu lagi Faham saya, sorry Sorry Sorry, saya hampa lah juga Okay So, uh, 60 kadang-kadang yang metanol keluar dulu kan? Yang lebih berat, hal, berat dan higher boiling point Lambat Dia akan keluar sini Okay, boiling point dia katakan Three, two, three, five. The two they keluar, keluar kang. Jadi kalau katakan kita dapat temperature programming ya, sixty throughout ah untuk separate minyak kelapa sawit, mungkin lima jam dah habis. Kalau sixty itu kebanyakan dalam liquid, liquid mana? Dia stay dalam inlet, tak keluar. Dia keluar sedikit lah. Tapi oh, C ten tu, very flat. Tapi ya, mesti kalau macam macam tu kan, sini je ke inlet tu kan? Macam kita punya kolam tu. Kan dia macam ada a few kan, macam ada molos, apa, molosif, kromosok kan ha. So macam dekat first tu, dekat inlet tu pun dia memang akan dah pecah ke macam mana? Ha, inlet dia tak pecah, dia hanya vaporize dia Vaporize Supaya liquid jadi gas Jadi gas For gas homograph uh, yang sangat penting Tugas inlet tu 
suhu lebih tinggi biasa dia takkan 60 tapi oven 60 ini bukan 60 dia tak 200 tujuan dia untuk cukup panas and then liquid masuk dalam dia vaporize right. dari gas oh ini ah. kena lagi panas lagi dia bagi gas kalau kerap based on gas okay. kalau liquid dia tak berjalan dan panjang Inlet tu pun sekali. Kalau dia first dekat inlet tu, dia dia vaporize. Ha. So dia akan masuk inlet yang sesuai dengan dia macam tu. Tak ada. Inlet satu. Inlet satu. Satu je. Uh, satu je. Masuk ke column tu maksudnya. Masuk column. Ah, ha. jangan a uh, fikir GC ni dulu. GC ni sebab banyak column. Just another level. Another level sangat susah ni. Bagi saya mention after ni dia akan besok. Tapi betul tak inlet tu dia sebagai tempat satu compartment untuk simpan sampel tu dulu. Ha. Kan? Ha, jadi for lepas uh, for short while before dia beratur untuk masuk ke dalam kolam. Ah, sebab memang masuk dalam tu. Ha, dia beratur tapi uh, kolam tu akan naik temperature jadi bila sampai dia punya giliran which dia means sampai dia punya temperature dia. baru dia jalan. Betul. Ha, jadi Tak, takkan kami kami empat orang ni sample. Okey. Dalam inlet sekarang. Dan inlet tu panas. So kami semua cari gas. Tapi kami tak tak, tak jalan. Dan ada carrier gas tolak kami. Siapa jalan dulu? Uh, mungkin empat orang pun masuk dalam kolam Tapi dalam koridor ni Tapi kalau oven ni, kalau koridor itu kan Suhu dia enam belum Mungkin saya tak boleh tahan 60 Saya keluar dulu okay. Dan tahan mungkin ke boiling point dia ada 100 Nanti keluar kemudian Dan kolam Yang atau satu mungkin 300 Jika saya rasa boiling point dia bertahan tak lap Sehal lasak Dan last dia keluar Dan last dia keluar Sama uh, cara dia So this, this room is inlet Kami dipanaskan, kami liquid jadi Kita boleh jadi gas dari gas, ya, dari gas. Kita gas boleh boleh uh, mula bergerak. Bila buka hilir masuk, tolak kami keluar ke koridor. So kami pada tu keluar untuk separation. Koridor tu memang bagi satu separation. Saya saya macam faham lah, okay. Cuma ha. macam bila dia simpan okay, dalam bilik ni, kan, hmm. uh, carry gas ada. Kenapa uh, saya pun tak keluar sama-sama? Oh. Uh, for this one, that we, kami keluar bersama-sama ke koridor, ke kolam uh-huh. Once dia masuk dalam inlet kan, dia tak boleh stay Mungkin hanya split second, mini second Masuk sana, pup, jadi gas Dan jadi gas, tolak kami atau uh, orang ke kolam Immediately So, all for us memang masuk dalam kolam kan Mungkin sama, uh-huh. sama, sama starting point Macam orang, uh-huh. uh, tapi nanti dia masuk balik sini Macam 100 meter Macam, uh-huh. uh, kalau cuma kita starting point sama, sama-sama masuk koridor lah sebab ha. kira case tu dia push kita masuk ha. kolom kan ha. tapi siapa yang uh, run cepat sikit, saya ha. habiskan koridor tu dulu ha. based on dia punya ini ha. siapa yang lebih ringan, okay. dia, dia, dia lari dulu. cepat sikit ke okay. ha. dia ha. lebih gemuk sikit, <laughs> tahan panas dia, 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 dia macam panas. somehow dia kolom tu tak membenarkan dia pass through lah uh, suhu effect, suhu okay. lah. if the kolom is non-polar Hmm. Dia tak tertarikkan apa-apa Dia tak tertarikkan dari uh, segi charge So, keempat pun kami akan uh, Tengok siapa lebih ringan atau boleh tahan uh, Yang apa pun tahan lebih, lebih rendah hmm. Maksudnya saya tak bertahan uh, Saya sisi kuih saya memang Dia cari gas lah Saya akan keluar dulu Okay, apa follow 60, 120 So, bila saya keluar dulu Saya kena api oh. Lepas keluar hmm. Api tak, saya So, saya okay, okay, okay. free that one Okay. Faham, faham. So first pick is cock pick, <laughs> second pick is tan pick, okay. the anis pick. So one by one, kena kena. Okay, thank you.